All right, this is frictional forces on journal bearings. So when a shaft or axle is subjected to lateral loads, a journal bearing is commonly used for its support. So if we had a journal bearing. Say that the point right here is point A. So if we were to analyze the forces right there on our shaft, we would have the axial force P, we would have the moment M, the radius is R, and then right here at point A, we would have our reaction force which is a combination of our normal force and our frictional force. And this angle between the normal force and the reactionary force would be mu k. I'm sorry, phi k. this angle would also be phi k. That, this angle right there. So if we were to sum the moments about the center, it would be equal to zero, and we would have our, our moment m minus r times this length right here is r, and then sine phi k would give us the perpendicular distance. So r sine phi k, such that our moment would be equal to r, our reactionary force, times the radius r times sine of phi k. And so phi k being that the um, bearing is moving. So if the bearing is lubricated, mu k is small, so sine of phi k is approximately equal to the tangent of phi k, which is approximately equal to mu k such that you could say that M is approximately equal to R times R times mu K. So because of the friction on these journal bearings, um, they're not suitable for long service time uh, due to the wear that's going to be caused on them. So ball bearings are often used to minimize the frictional losses in this type of bearing.